Back again, failed. Take down into shin to shin. I get that underhook deep onto your uh, back. And then I go shin to shin, you step over and I have that far shin to shin. Now I engage my double underhooks. I get a gable grip on your hip and then I sit back. I see that I can go into single leg X and that's what I do. From there, I pass it over to the other side to get into kind of a 70-30 position. That's what this position is called. And then you step back, I have full control, and then I elevate you and try to get to your back at this point. And then you spin around, re-engage. I can get into a Delahiva, and then I post onto your butt. And then I engage your other butterfly hook. I sit up. And I start wrestling up and I grab your far ankle. Uh, guillotine would be good here, but it's tough, yeah. And then you get to that far. Good, yeah, nice. Another takedown attempt, a double leg into a pass. Slow motion, I get behind your knees, I pull up. Good job, I think a guillotine was open there. I had it on the wrong side. Next time. Settle into guard here. I push over and then I get into the body lock. Here I engage the body lock. And then I try and then I let go because I think you had a good frame in there on my shoulders. I get a knee, try to get into a knee cut. And then this is the change in strategy I did this week is I was gonna try and pull more into uh, leg locking positions if I could see them if I could pull into them yeah so I sit to my butt and I start looking for leg locks and then you invert over and then the toe hold beautiful Yeah, this is a good little sequence here. I have your shin across my hips so I can start passing here and then you close guard here. Yeah, so you nod, I nod my head. And then from there, I start attacking the legs and you actually do a nifty little move here. You see that I'm attacking the legs and you invert over to the far one and then you get into a good heel hooking position. I thought I was good here. I could lock my legs behind you and I actually do lock my legs behind you. I think that's where it ends, the round ends that no one comes out of here with a tap. Great little passing sequence here. I shoot for the takedown, then I pull guard, I get a butterfly hook in, then you leg pummel and float, and I try to get into 411 here. You get that, you shut down that underhook, you stay upright, make sure that you don't get fallen over, then you pass into that leg drag position, pummel your legs, beautiful on the side control. Now you have full control here. Beautiful back take here. Let's see that little knee switch pummel. I get into a wrestling position and you see, boom. Yeah, beautiful leg pummel right onto my back. Yeah, nice, great movement. Yeah, here we go, double pull situation again. Then I go for the barambolo. I have good ankle control, and then you go for the heel hook. That was a good heel hook attempt, definitely there. And then I stand up into the pass. It changes, kind of in like a koala guard, quarter guard situation. I pull you over to your side, 
And then I think I shuck you into your back at this point because I have control. Yeah, exactly. I have a deep underhook and then you give me your back. Yeah, just be careful about that. I'll always be looking for that. I think you can uh, get up there actually. Here I get into a good passing position, I'm trying to pass. Maybe an inversion there would be good. Uh, then I try and do a body lock and then cinch in the choke. Easy little takedown here, dump you to your back. Yeah, I see the legs close, so I just grab it, use my strength, and I dump you to your back, into a passing position, sit back, trying to go for the heel, then you stand up, beautiful hip heist. Yeah, I grab your leg, make sure you can't get up. Then good wrist control, then I grab your ankle, pull you into single leg X, start attacking your leg again, back into that 70-30 position. <laughs> that del x here pause to think yeah this is an important sequence because it's your answer to the 70 30 position yeah you 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 cut that uh right knee over my hip and then kind of get into a knee cut position with your flexibility i think that's a really good answer yeah you you stack my shins to the side you pin my hip and then you get into a really good passing position. Yeah, I think that's a good answer to the 70-30. Best takedown of the day. Beautiful little double leg slow motion before I could set up. Change levels, yeah, beautiful. Went too wide with it. Beautiful takedown. Good little sequence here. I drop down for the single leg after a snap down. Good guard retention. Yeah, let's see that again. Yeah, drop down for the single leg. Yeah, pull hard, and as you posture up, I go for the single leg. Yeah, Double guard pull scenario, go for the barambolo again. And then you attack the heel again. Yeah, good little tap here. Get that heel, beautiful. Yeah, have that heel step, beautiful. Then he'll advise the Minari roll. Then good little overhook pass. Very nice with that under my leg. Nice, right into position. And it's all downhill from here. Can't do much. You can get into position, get into the back control, get into mount. Good little seatbelt control. I'm trying to make sure the the choking arm doesn't come in, but you good job in that beautiful isolating of the arms. Get onto my back, and I think the finish comes pretty quick here. Yeah, there's not much I can do. You got me flattened out. Oh, I think you got me there, yeah, at the end. Got a little single leg. Yeah, really good idea. Pulling up, pulling up and getting it shelved onto your shoulder. And then, yeah, pulling me back. Beautiful takedown. Right onto a good passing position. I think it's the beginning of the end here. You get the lock in the arm triangle. And that's a good finish. Yeah, good finish. Here we go. Back to wrestling. Another good single leg entry. Good wrestling. Oh, beautiful pull. Just pulling me down, pulling me up. Beautiful takedown. Couple of good takedowns today. Into good passing position, good leg pin. Yeah, nice back, good back attacks. I think that's gonna be really where you excel is that back attack where you, you really attack the back effectively and then that arm triangle. I think that's the thing that you, you attack most uh, consistently is the arm triangle and then he, uh, uh, arm bar that comes off of that yeah yeah beautiful yeah that's that that was really nice too you read it beautifully we're going to see that again in slow motion 
you're gonna see I'm gonna punch that overhook really hard. Yeah, I'm gonna grab that overhook. And then once I grab that overhook, I'm gonna try and step in for the Uchimata, yeah, that wizard kick, yeah. You see that left leg come in, and I try to do it once. You see it, yep. Yeah. And then I try to do it a second time, and then you see I, I'm going to go for the ankle and you sprawl really hard with that beautiful underhook. Yeah, that was a really good move. Yeah, uh, good. I, I don't think very many people would be able to chain those takedowns together like that. And I think if you're just cognizant of that movement, you'll be able to stuff a lot of takedowns. That's, that's a big movement that you were able to see and see coming. That was a good sprawl. Then uh, we're gonna keep it going here because I think you finish it pretty effectively. Yeah, it's that back, it's those back takes. It's really effective. It's just making sure that you, you let me move, get expose my back to you, and then I give you my give you my neck. Is I think that's a really good strategy. Is to be heavier and then sprawl and go for the back when I miss takedowns or when you take me down. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, right here is I see I, I snap you down and I see you go for the single leg and I see the opportunity to go for a guillotine. So I, that's where I get the guillotine. I almost get the grip here. Yeah, and then I you fall back into it. Beautiful into guard. I think this is where you stand. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, that hip heist. Yeah. Yeah, that's a really good position. And then you just attack my back. Yeah, it's really good. You're you're getting to my back really often. I think that's a really good strategy. It'll work on anybody. Because the way I move is that is going to be the way most people move to get away from your attacks and side control, that arm triangle especially. And not very many people will be able to keep you up like that. Most of them, will, people will fall here. Yeah. Yeah, most people will fall. Yeah, beautiful little foot trip there. And then into the back. Yeah, you attacked my back really successfully today. Then I think you finish here, yeah. I think you the finish is coming really quickly here. Yeah, after I think it's a triangle arm bar. More wrestling, more wrestling. I go for a foot sweep, you go for a single leg, and then that duck under to the back. That was really nice, yeah, really nice. I think I get out though, yeah. I separate the hands and they get away from you. Let's see that again one more time. Oh, beautiful, yeah. A little snap down. That was a good. It was a good level change though. I think you, if you, you could have got there. Yeah, this is where I attack the handgun choke. I almost got a good grip, but then you ditch into north south, and then regard. Yeah, good. And I think this is where you get an omoplata, good little rubber guard. But then I think this is the body lock. Yeah, I get a body lock on you. Yeah, it's tough to do the omoplata when the body lock is on. But you do a good job with the kimura. That's a good option. That's a really good option when you can get your hips over the person's head and get to the kimura position. Yeah, that'll work well. A little kiss of the dragon, get underneath, a little weighted position. Really nice, really nice work. Really nice guard work right to the back. Yeah. The only problem is it exposes the leg for the knee bar here, but you do a good job making sure you get up, get that knee up, get that crab ride. Yeah, I try to get up, beautiful. And then I think you go for a back take here. Yeah, back into, yeah, beautiful pass. A little weird sequence there. Yeah, we had a little weird sequence there. It got tied up a little bit. But I think I, I I was just looking for that ankle control. If I could grab your ankle on the back of your knee, and if I pull up, then I know that I can get your hips to the ground. And then from there, I can start working my way up. Uh, so from here, I start attacking the leg again. I'm going for, and then you go for, yeah, beautiful, right into the 411 position. Yeah, you see the opening and you take it. I think it, yeah, and then I try to go for a toe hold at the same time. I think the race happens. I think you end up winning the race here. Yeah, you see that I'm trying to go for the foot. But yeah, beautiful. It's that. Yeah, it's the heel hook. Yeah, you, it's the heel hook. Beautiful. You get out. The angle wasn't quite right there for me. I think if I just really like pulled on it, it might have done damage, but 
yeah, the control wasn't there. Another good passing sequence here, you kind of get a body lock on me, yeah, I try to get that inside, I scoot away, but you attack the back again. That shin across my hips is really good, you can see you insert it right there, yeah, the shin is across the hips, yeah, I basically pass my guard, beautiful, arm control, then, yeah, again, back, right to the back, beautiful, yeah, good finish, good finish, yeah.